Yeah, we're live. <laughs> hey, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Hi, San. How's it going? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm perfect. I'm doing great. I'm fantastic. I'm on top of the world. Okay. Oh, that sounds good. It's funny, actually. We uh, met in uh, Bali a few months ago. And uh, you're yeah. in the Netherlands now, right? I'm still in Bali. Well, I couldn't travel actually to the Netherlands due to the Corona crisis. Um, I had I had a masterclass series that was scheduled for I think the 30th of March, which also got cancelled. And by the time we got to the 30th, uh, Europe had already closed. But I'm waiting. As soon as they open, I'll be there. Ah, right. Okay, okay. Well, we met a few months ago uh, in Bali, and um, you're actually, you did a lot uh, of events in Bali as well, uh, sharing yeah. your personal story uh, in co-working yeah. spaces uh, to a lot of people who uh, people. work here to inspire people about uh, leadership. And uh, there's a book published now as well. You publish your book on the yeah. 17th of April and it's uh, titled Be Transformed. So yeah. can you uh, first tell us a little bit more about your personal life and your personal story? Okay, great. Uh, once again, thank you very much, Sunny, for welcoming me on this platform. I always praise every single opportunity that's awarded to me to put my message out there and to influence the life of even this is one individual today, it goes a long way. Well, I respond to the name of Stephen Dosu, and I'm from Togo, T-O-G-O, -O, West Africa. It's a very small country. North to the south is about 600 kilometers, then east to the west is about 180 kilometers, and there's only 7 million people there. And that's where I spent my first 18 years of life. And I grew up in, you know, very humble uh, conditions. I remember we walked about 10, 15 k's to school. I had nine siblings, and my father is polygamous. I had two wives, and that's when we grew up basically, yeah, in a two-bedroom house. So um, when I reached the age of 18, after having finished my degree in economics, uh, which I don't want to even get into the condition of the university, I then, you know, reflected upon myself and saw, like, okay, is this what I really want out of life? You know, what is it that, you know, I want to achieve? And I looked at myself, I sink deep within, and I saw, look, I can actually do much more greater than my country could offer me. So then I decided to embark on a journey, you know, and to leave where I am, which is my country, Togo, to, you know, a better location that I felt could give me the opportunities in order for me to unleash my potential. Mm -hmm. So I looked around, I looked, I looked at the Western world, I looked at Europe, I looked at America, but then the visa constraints are, you know, ridiculous. So I was like, look, where could be the perfect place for me to go right now that could give me those opportunities? So I remember I looked at the map and I pointed South Africa, but then, to actually fly to South Africa, it would cost me, you know, by, back then it would cost me a whole lot of money. So then I decided to embark on this journey with my bare feet, like somebody would say, with 11. And that's what I did. So it took me about a year and three months. It was a journey full of lessons, you know. I learned a lot on that so, journey. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you walked from uh, mostly, right, from uh, Togo to South Africa? Basically, Most yeah, of the it was yeah. Yeah, it was country okay. to country journey. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. continue. <laughs> yeah. So, so so as I was saying, it was a journey full of lessons. I got to meet, you know, different kind of people in life. And and when I got to South Africa, you know, it wasn't easy either. There were days where I spent two, three days with no food at all. There were days where I had to sleep on the street because there's no way to go with no one that you knew, you know. But the good thing is that. By the time I had my breakthrough where I became, I worked for one of you know one of the biggest companies, sales companies in South Africa, where I worked, I worked from the bottom as a, just a normal uh, chef packer all the way to working in senior management uh, in, that, in that company. By the time I got that breakthrough, I had learned so much in life that the influence I was having on my subordinates, which I, I had a team more than 100 people that I was leading back then, you know. So the influence I had on my subordinates in terms of motivating them, giving them a reason to wake up in the morning and be the best version of themselves, the influence was immense. It was huge, you know. Mm -hmm. Some of them did call me until today and say, listen, I just want to thank you for giving me a sense of my life, you know? So when I left that company, I went to start a business which didn't work out properly. And so, you know, I took a step back and I was like, look, 
speaking and you know motivating people bringing the best out of them strategizing putting plans together so that you can achieve your dreams and your goals be resilient to whatever challenge that is right in front of you i believe that is my gift that's what i'm great at you know mm -hmm. so why not dive onto this path in pool and that was about three years ago when i dived onto this path you know very full with my hands and my feet and it has been a very fascinating in journey i've had my ups and downs so far i can proudly say that, that, that i've spoken to more than ten thousand people and i've just launched my books two books actually one is psychology and habits of great leaders and the second one is be transform a turn with journey to your true self so that is still yeah. Awesome for you. yeah oh cool yeah it's very inspiring